Hi ladies, uh, this is Ingrid again. I'm coming to you with a little project that I had done a few months back and I'm now catching up on posting these uh, videos up on uh, YouTube. Um, and so some of these projects I actually had made a while back but I just never posted them. This is an altered wooden box that I got at Michael's and I could show you the bottom here as you could see. I just painted right over it actually. Um, and I painted it with like a peach colored um, acrylic paint which I then went over it with, I don't know if you can tell, but I went over it with several coats of crackle paint and then I, once it had finished cr crackling, I then went over it with some gold dauber paint on some of the, and just picked up on some of the um, crackles there with the gold dauber paint. And really the camera does not do it any justice because you really can't see how pretty um, and vintage this actually looks in person. Then I put um, a velvet ribbon in like a soft um, peachy color. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, I adhered a Prima, some Prima uh, flowers and um, a brad. Oh, and then for the bottom, I forgot to tell you that for the bottom, all I did was I took these beads, um, which I could actually, um, I don't remember where I put the beads right now, but these were actually just plastic beads. And all I did was I set them on their sides. So you could see here the holes for the beads. And I set them on the sides and I just put them, I set them on here with some hot glue. And they just, um, they're like the feet now of the, of the box. But coming back to the, to the, to the front, um, here you could see some more crackles, uh, crackle paints. And I just love the way the crackle paint comes out. It makes it look so vintage and so beautiful. I mean, I would crackle paint my whole entire house if I if I could. Um, but yeah, my husband would throw me out. No, so I won't be able to do that. But here, I um, I um, dauber painted this um, metal cl uh, closure here with um, the the uh, Tim Holtz crack. With the Tim Holtz uh, paint. I'm sorry, that was just somebody was just washing my window. Um, and then here, this was um, a little, um, I can't really call this a rope. This is what you use when you have, um, I guess, like tags or bookmarks. Um, I forget what you, oh, tassels. That's, that's, that's what this is. I'm sorry. I just had like a, a memory lapse there. This is a tassel, and I just adhered it with um, uh, hot glue and I put in a resin flower here and I just put it over the edge and then over here this was um, I think this was a, a like a, a piece from one of the collections paper collections and I just crackle accented that um, and then I added a little rose, resin rose right there. And then here I took, um, I cut this out using the Cricut and then I, um, and then I UT'd this. And then after I UT'd it, I kind of bent it so that it would get some cracks. And then after it got the cracks, I went over the cracks with some Distress ink and it filled in pretty nicely so it almost looks like I uh, crackle accented it but I really didn't I just wanted to UT it because I wanted to make the paper really thick and strong and it really does um, and then you could put a picture in here if you want to and then here I put some flowers layered up here I put in um, a little strand of uh, beaded pearls and here are some uh, fabric fla fabric roses in a beautiful um, beige color. Again, the camera really 
doesn't pick up the correct tones of this. Um, this uh, I added in. I forget what you call these. This is a resin rose. And I just uh, added gold dauber paint to some of the edges. And this is a little stick pin that I added this teeny tiny little key to it. And it looks so pretty. And then here are some more... Um, ribbon in different summer satin and summer sheer and here's the side and the back I left it sort of plain other than you know using the gold dauber paint and the crackle paints and that pretty much concludes this project I really hope you guys like it and I hope you guys go out there and get yourselves some of these wooden boxes that are so easy to alter and just turn into something completely different. Uh, please leave me your comments. I really enjoy reading them. And um, I hope uh, you look at the other videos that I have on my channel. Um, thank you guys. Bye.